You're watching Global News Morning. <laughs> Good to see you. Thanks for joining us here on Global News Morning. Please allow me to introduce to you singer, songwriter, author, uh, sommelier. Uh, this is Astrid Young. Good to see you. How are you? Good morning. How are you, Bill? Good to see you. You're still doing the sommelier? I am. You are still, yeah. I am. I'm the... Award-winning sommelier. I'm sorry? Award-winning sommelier. Yes, I am. I'm uh, actually the wine director at the Merrill House in Tipton, and I also consult for a number of other restaurants. Okay. And yeah. don't forget singer-songwriter as well. Yeah. <laughs> um, Re-releasing One Night at uh, Giant Rock uh, came out eight or nine years ago? Yeah. I think. So 2014, yeah. But this is going to be a totally different record. Uh, I imagine maybe a new album cover, but... Uh, what you're doing is appealing to the public so they can get involved with the recording. This is so fascinating. Yes, well, um, as you may or may not know, the record company, is, or the record industry has been changing a lot uh, over the past uh, couple of decades. And um, most record labels, they don't uh, uh, put a lot of investment into artists anymore. So mm. it's kind of up to you to, to but People make music differently now, you know. Pop music is uh, has kind of taken the world by storm. Most kids, you know, they're looking at their phones, uh, watching 30 seconds of a song on TikTok before they move on. So a lot of the way that, you know, the records that we grew up with and uh, the kind of the soundtrack of our lives is, uh, is uh, almost going the way of the dinosaur, which is um, a little bit concerning, but uh, people like me uh, are still making records and, um, making them the old-fashioned way with real musicians and real studios with real engineers and producers and uh, uh, and hopefully making music that endures for the next generation. Well, the big trick is to let people know that there's something out there. That's right, I think, yes. Whereas yeah. the record companies, you know, they don't have that huge PR push anymore with taking artists out on the road doing the talk tour That's but right. um, anything we can do to get the word out astridyoung.net for more information and uh, a Kickstarter campaign to see this record to the finish line. It's actually on Indiegogo and uh, I'm working with a fantastic producer named Eddie Kramer who you <laughs> you talked about <laughs> albums that were part of our soundtrack growing up. This guy has touched amazing. Absolutely. Projects. I mean, he probably recorded every note Jimi Hendrix ever played, uh, you know, including some of my favorite Led Zeppelin records and Rolling Stones and Bad Company and David Bowie and the list goes on and on. Probably okay. I'd be here for the next hour reciting his discography. But uh, uh, so we're working together. We just actually finished our first single and it's going to be released. Uh, on a U.S. label uh, called Dark Spark uh, at the end of July. Uh, we're mastering this Friday, actually, so uh, that's kind of coming together. And then uh, I have my collaborators and partners in musical crime, as it were, coming up to track some new stuff with me in August. When I heard who was going to be on helping you with the record, yeah. I thought, oh, I love Violent Femmes. Victor DiLorenzo is going to be on there. Yep. I love Bauhaus. You have uh, David J. from Bauhaus. And that's Rockets right. is going to be on there. Wow. I know, it's crazy. That's amazing. Pinch me. <laughs> I mentioned singer-songwriter. You've been asked to do uh, backup uh, vocals on other people's projects, your brother, uh, Hart. What others as well, what do you think they're zeroing in on when it comes to your vocals? Um, what are they looking for? Well, it's interesting. Nancy Wilson once said to me, because I think all of us as musicians, when we're learning our craft and kind of figuring out what our musical voices, whether that's with an instrument or with vocals, you know, we're, we're looking at, uh, you know, certain artists as the um, kind of the, the grail. This is what I'm going for. This is who I want to sound like. And uh, Nancy Wilson said to me once, um, you know, it's the imperfections in your voice that make it unique and you should embrace that. Mm. And I always uh, thought that was about the best piece of advice I could ever get. And, and as far as my brother is concerned, um, I have an ability to kind of mimic his voice a little bit so uh, you know when I'm on stage with him and also working with him uh, being that we're siblings we kind of have this telepathic thing so it's very easy uh, to do he just looks at me and I know exactly what he he needs me to do and the Bee Gees have it. said that what's that I said the the Bee Gees have said that yeah <laughs> 
in yeah, the studio oh yeah, on absolutely. stage. There's just something kinetic, natural there. That's right, something uh, unsaid. Are we ever going to sure. climb out of the mess that the industry is in right now, the music business is in? You say there's uh, two wheels in the ditch right now. Uh, yeah, I, 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 would, I would say so. I think this has been going on for a long time, though. Um, you know, it started uh, at the end of the 80s when, you know, record, uh, large record labels started buying up the indie labels. And, and the, the paradigm was, look at the indies that are doing really well with the really exciting bands, and let's just buy them up instead of taking artists and developing them and saying, oh, this, this is really good, that there's something here, you know, which is really where everything started back uh, you know in the heyday of the record industry you know people were well, taking a chance you're you know? a great example of how to circumvent all that astridion.net <laughs> there's some great videos on there and how you can get involved in astrid's new project good to see you thank you so much Astrid. thank you bill thank you very much